Ladies, if you still think weightlifting will make you bulky or isn't worth your time, think again. Weightlifting isn't just for men. It's exactly how you achieve the toned body you're after, improve your overall health, and find unstoppable confidence in yourself that you will not find anywhere else. I've spent over 10 years training and over 7 years coaching both men and women to reach their health and fitness goals. In this video, I'll be busting all of these myths and answering some of the most common questions you have when it comes to lifting weights. Let's get started. Will lifting weights make me look bulky? Come on ladies, why are we still asking this question? This is literally the most common question I get asked. The answer is no, absolutely not. Weightlifting will not make you look bulky, it will not make you look like a horse, it will not make you look like a sculpted Greek god. It's literally impossible. This is because women have significantly lower testosterone compared to men. Meaning, instead of gaining massive, bulky muscles, you'll instead be gaining lean muscle mass. What that means is over time, your body composition will significantly change. So, you'll have less fat, especially less visceral fat around your stomach, around your love handles, around that stubborn kidney area, and instead, you'll gain leaner muscle mass which means you'll overall look more healthy, more fit, you'll look athletic, your abs will start shining through, your legs and your glutes will double, triple, your upper back and your posture will significantly improve, just to name a few benefits. The women that you stumble across on social media and even some celebrities that look like they're a male body in a woman's physique, they're most likely taking illicit substances. They're most likely taking drugs, steroids, testosterone to look the way they do. That's just the reality. It's not possible for the average standard woman to look like that. As mentioned, literally because of genetics, because of testosterone levels, so the final answer is absolutely not. Can weightlifting help me lose weight? Absolutely. Ladies, please understand that cardio, weightlifting, walking on the cross trainer, walking around the block is only one piece of the puzzle. Weightlifting and incorporating resistance training in your workout routine is the ultimate tool for your long-term success. It's gonna help you lose weight more efficiently, help you lose weight faster, and most importantly, keep the weight off. Because weightlifting is going to increase the amount of muscle in your body while also reducing the amount of fat stores. This therefore contributes to a higher metabolic rate, which just means while you're resting and recovering away from the gym, you're going to be burning more calories. This therefore makes this the most powerful tool to lose weight the most effectively. Both in the short and long term, weightlifting will contribute to your success when it comes to weight loss. How many times per week should I lift weights? This is a very broad question. The recommendations are different for every single training age. So whether you're a beginner, novice, intermediate, advanced or athlete, the recommendations from me as a coach are going to be different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my minimum and maximum recommendations to incorporate to see whether or not you fall within this range. Keep the amount of sessions that you incorporate weightlifting in your weekly routine to three and five sessions. At the very maximum five, because you need two full rest days away from the weights. This is because you need to give your muscles enough time to rest and recover. Any more than five sessions per week, you're either not training hard enough or you're significantly over training, especially as a beginner. The minimum recommendations is three weight training sessions per week. This again is so you give your body, you give your muscles enough stimulus to grow, enough stimulus in order to see progression from week to week. The minimum time per session between 45 minutes and 1 hour and 15 minutes. Again, just referring to beginners here. 
This session length must incorporate your warm up, your muscle activation, the actual workouts and exercises, as well as your cooling down and stretching. One more thing to note here is the amount of cardio you're doing per week typically does not change. The only thing that would change is when you perform that cardio. So usually after your weight training session, or you can split it. You can do your weight training session at a different time to your cardio session. And you can also place your cardio sessions during your full rest days when you're not incorporating resistance training. This is called an active rest day. Do I need to do different exercises than men? This is a yes and a no answer. Let me explain. The recommendation and the only thing that I would change from a male and female program would be the amount of chest exercises that women incorporate compared to men. So, at least at the very minimum, perform one to two chest exercises every one month to two months for a woman. And instead, interchange the amount of chest exercises that you incorporate for more glute specific exercises, for more leg specific exercises, or even for more ab exercises. Otherwise, absolutely everything else within the program remains the same. Do not change anything else. Maintain the amount of back exercises, leg exercises, shoulder exercises, arm exercises, ab exercises. You understand my point. Hopefully, that answers the question. What should I eat to support my weightlifting goals? Hmm. This is going to be the same sort of answer to the previous question on whether or not men and women should incorporate these same exercises. The same recommendations apply for both men and women when it comes to nutrition too. The only difference is the amount of protein you are consuming. If you are advanced, you will understand this. I'll try my best to simplify it. When it comes to the total percentage of your macronutrients, protein typically stays the same. So for men, that will be between 25 and 30% of your total calories. For women, it's typically the same. So keep it at the very maximum at 25%. That is usually enough protein for you to not only maintain your muscle, but to build your muscle too. Your carbohydrates typically also make up between 50 and 55% of your total calories and your fat will make up the rest. That will overall contribute to a healthy lifestyle, promote muscle growth, promote recovery, and therefore supplement your weightlifting so you get the best benefits possible. What I would recommend is just look at the foods that comprise the Mediterranean diet and pick and choose from that diet. Simples. Is it safe to weightlift while I am pregnant? Yes. For the most part, weightlifting, of course, is completely safe while you are pregnant. However, some conditions and some rules of thumb that I would recommend that you follow. First and foremost, I would avoid exercises that completely constrict and constrain your stomach in a bent over, leaned over position. For example, a uncommon one that you're probably not thinking about is the leg press. On the way down of the leg press, you're constricting your stomach you're squeezing your lower back and your core in order to get into that full range of motion. I would instead change that exercise for a squat because an upright squat, you're able to make sure that you have a wider base of support when it comes to your feet so that on the way down, you have complete freedom of motion in your stomach. That's one example. Any bent over exercises that constrain your stomach is another example. When it comes to the amount of weight you're lifting, be smart, be diligent, don't be silly, don't lift weights that you can't lift. For example, you're only able to do 50 kilos for eight reps on a squat. So I'm using an eight rep minimum here. I'm not using a one repetition max, don't be silly. So 50 kilos, eight reps, lift between 60 and 70% of that up until like 24 weeks of your pregnancy. Then past 24 weeks, I would then reduce that further to let's say 40, 50%. And let's say it exceeds nine months. I will then even reduce that further to like 10%, 20%. The goal here is just to maintain your strength. 
just to maintain your muscle mass, just to ensure that you're doing something, you're remaining active, you're still burning calories, you're still remaining fit, you're not remaining sanitary. Nothing is worse than remaining sanitary. Can lifting weights help with hormonal imbalances like PCOS? This is a very interesting question. I don't believe I've ever been asked this before. So if you aren't aware, PCOS stands for polycystic ovary syndrome. It's a very, very complex issue that some women unfortunately have to deal with. Yes is the answer to this question. Exercise is medicine. Nothing will beat exercise when it comes to dealing with PCOS. It's overall going to benefit you through one of two ways. Firstly, weightlifting can improve your insulin sensitivity while also helping you manage your overall weight, keeping it below that certain healthy unhealthy threshold. So of course, it's absolutely crucial therefore for managing PCOS symptoms. Also, due to the other long list of benefits, that we only very briefly touched the base on in this video, that are a direct result from incorporating weightlifting into your workout routine, such as increasing your muscle mass, lowering your fat stores, lowering the amount of visceral fat in your body. Weightlifting therefore significantly reduces the risk of developing type two diabetes, which of course is a common concern for women who struggle with PCOS. Ladies, if I haven't yet been able to convince you to incorporate some sort of weightlifting, some sort of resistance training in your day to day, in your week to week, please just hear me out and then I'll wrap it up, okay? Please understand that weightlifting, exercise, resistance training will benefit literally every single aspect of your life, your job, your relationships, your faith, your friends, your family, literally everything. You'll increase your strength, increase your confidence, increase your mood, increase your energy, increase your endurance, improve your overall physical appearance, improve the balance, improve the posture, stamina, coordination, bone density, overall physical performance, the list goes on. I can keep going, but I'm pretty sure by this point, you get my point, you understand what I'm saying. If you want to live a more pain-free existence, if you want to be happier, if you want to have more energy, if you want to literally do whatever the hell you want to do up of the ripe old age of 80 years old, just incorporate weightlifting into your day to day, into your week to week. And I guarantee even within the first month, you're going to see immediate benefits, immediate results that will positively benefit every single aspect of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, or just ladies in this instance, if you learned something from this video, or gentlemen, send it to your missus, send it to someone who needs to hear this. Drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.